Katie Bayers, it's Suzanne. I have another free sample from my premium content library. This time it's from the series, What is this and how much does it sell for? And I got the idea to do this because I know as an eBay seller, I'm walking by stuff all the time because I don't know what it is and I don't know that it's valuable enough to pick up to resell because nobody can know everything and maybe you've never been exposed to some items, you've never had experience with them, and maybe you are walking past these items at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, and just never bothered to learn what the item is called and if it has any value. So um, as we continue our education to learn more, you can sell more and make more money with less effort simply because you are able to recognize these things as you see them when you're out looking for items to sell. This lesson is about a French coffee press. Also called a French press, coffee press, or coffee plunger. It's got all those different names. There's two pieces to this. You've got the glass beaker and then the plunger with the screen at the bottom. So Let's talk about why do people even want this, which is it's important to get to know your target customer and why they're buying something. It, it makes you a better seller. It helps you to um, be a better sourcer because you know who you're buying this for and, and why they're using it. So there are several reasons that people make coffee with this method. First of all, paper filters like you would use in a drip coffee maker absorb oils and nutrients. So when you use the coffee press, you get the flavorful oils from the coffee as well as more antioxidants um, actually in your cup that don't get stuck in the filter. So that's one reason. Um, also, it allows for steeping. I'm going to show you how this is used in just a minute, but um, it's the same way that you steep tea. It's, it's the water is not run through the grounds. It actually the grounds steep in the water. So again coffee is more flavorful. You get more nutrients and those flavorful oils stay in the coffee. Also the grounds are completely saturated whereas drip coffee makers and even the K-cups can miss some of the grounds so you're not getting that full flavor in your cup because the water is not passing through all the grounds. Also, coffee does not have impurities when made in a press. The best way to make it is freshly ground beans, organic beans that are the highest quality, but it's a very clean and simple method for brewing coffee where the coffee is more nutritious and has a better flavor. And recently, in the news well the past few years they've been showing how the Keurig coffee makers can get a build up build up of bacteria if you don't clean them properly so when you use a coffee press you avoid that whole thing with all of the the inner tubing and you know the inner mechanisms of a coffee maker you don't have any of that so there's no bacteria harmful anything that gets in your coffee because it's just it has two parts the plunger and the beaker and that's it and usually both are dishwasher safe. Also the French press keeps the water at a steady temperature which is makes for a more delicious cup of coffee. The water in electric coffee makers can often be too hot and then it cools down too fast and that affects the taste of the coffee can make it taste bitter. So the the glass beaker keeps that water at a steady temperature so it brews a more delicious cup of coffee. Also the bulletproof coffee craze, if you don't know what that is just google it, bulletproof coffee calls for using a French press because the coffee is more nutrient dense and flavorful and again has those oils in it which are um, desirable if you are drinking coffee for the nutrition. So here's how it works. Um, and it's funny because I had this sitting on my uh, kitchen counter. I've started using one 
uh, you know, just because I found one at Goodwill, and I'm like, oh, I want to see what coffee really tastes like in here. And uh, my sister thought it was for grinding beans or had something to do with the beans. So, you know, I figured, well, I guess maybe everybody doesn't know what this thing is. So basically, you uh, scoop the coffee grounds into the beaker, and it's recommended that you use coarsely ground coffee because uh, the flavor is better. And then there's different ways to do it. Some videos show just pouring enough water over the grounds to saturate them and letting the water sit for about a minute. And you want to use water right off the boil. And then after that initial one minute of soaking the grounds, you fill it up all the way with the water. And then you're going to cover it with the lid, which is also the plunger and you let it sit for four minutes. So the the coffee is at the bottom and then the water sits on top of it and well it's mixed in and it just actually steeps like tea would. And then after four minutes you slowly and gently press the plunger and what you're doing there is you're pressing the coffee grounds to the bottom and then separating the coffee from the grounds. And the plunger, we can go back and look at that, um, it has a screen at the bottom right here so nothing's getting through there so it's pressing those solid grounds to the bottom and then you have your delicious cup of coffee that you just pour off the top so now that you know what a coffee press is let's go over to eBay and see how much they sell for okay so I have pulled up completed listings with the keywords coffee press and these are all in used condition and I have put them in the order of highest uh, to lowest so in descending order and I didn't put French in the title because some people don't call it that because they don't know what that's what it's called so there were more listings with just the words coffee press than including French coffee press so uh, we are not going to really pay attention to the first one there which is a rare and vintage one because chances are you're not going to find that but this brand here Bodum B-O-D-U-M is a reputable well-known brand that sells for pretty good money so you can see um, that second one there went for $99 and if you look at the title it's VTG for vintage Melior 12 cup nickel plated French press plunger coffee maker France um, so that's a big one that's a pretty big size if it's gonna make 12 cups but you very well may see this sitting at a thrift store or a garage sale or a state sale uh, with a couple of dollars on it and be able to flip that now that you know what a coffee press is. Um, there's another one just like it there that went on best offer and then we have another one that uh, went for $105 and then another one that was a six inch they don't have the quantity but that looks like a bigger one and then here's a vintage gold one I'm sure it's just gold colored um, but you can also find these that are they're not glass they could be stainless steel or other materials so you actually if you see something like this that's a pitcher sitting on the shelf at Goodwill you know open it up see if it's a coffee press see if it's got that plunger inside and then here's some more here's an eight cup one that went for $74.95 and then there's all kind of funky ones here's a Alessi, Alessi Italy uh, coffee tea espresso maker with some like funky guy hugging the container there um, some more stainless steel ones that went for 45 to 50 here's some more glass ones that went for uh, around 50 so um, this is definitely something to pay attention to if you didn't know what a coffee press was now you do and you know that it's something you can make money on knowledge is power the more you know the better you're gonna get along in life and in eBay the eBay world the more money you're gonna make okay if you like this type of video where it is a lesson where you are learning something you can apply to your eBay business come check out the premium content library there are over 300 videos like this tutorials that actually teach you something 
and you have access to all of them for just $20 a month as well as unlimited email support directly with me anytime you need help with eBay. Thanks so much for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.